I'm going to talk about the couple boss pedals. A couple boss pedals, the um, CE2 Chorus and the OC2 Octave, and um, and how they work together. Uh, being a bass player, it sometimes really helps a lot to bring this thundering boom under the music. Um, so like, I have, currently I have this, uh, the, the, the course in the octave going through uh, a Boss Line Selector NLS2 at my feet here so that I can show you on the camera what how I have this set, although pretty much whenever I set it, it's, that's where it stays. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, but how I have that set and um, and kicking them on and off at the same time for a huge impact. So, um, so here is my bass as it sits. Right? Okay. So it just sounds like this. Uh, I need some headphones here. Hold on, so I can hear myself. Can I hear myself? Can I hear myself? No. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Can I hear? I can hear myself. Okay, great. All right. So this is what the, the bass sounds like. Okay, and then um, adding some OC2 to it sounds like this. some OC2 to it. And this is what the OC2 sounds like just by itself. Okay, and then when you combine the two, it has a nice kind of synthy effect. <laughs> If you're doing something like um, uh, just to, if you want to add a bunch of color to whatever it is you're doing, so you could be like, uh, to um, uh, really send things up. Um, what? So, okay, so what I do is I put the octave pedal first. Um, if I'm going directly from my bass, I put the octave pedal first, followed by the chorus pedal. Because the octave pedal, if you put something before it, then it's not going to want to track properly. And sometimes these uh, old OC2s have a little bit of trouble with that. So... <laughs> Um, so it's not having any problem doing that, but um, on the C on my on this bass is kind of a dead spot. So without it, you hear kind of kind of dies real quick. And the OC2 does not like that. But if you play a D, it's fine with that C. So um, I try to avoid that <laughs> if I can somehow. But um, so the um, so 
So yeah, um, if I turn down the volume on this guitar. No. There's the C again. So if you ever want to find a dead spot on a bass, just get an OC2 and it'll tell you right where the dead spots are. That was not so bad. I like it is. you want to use if you want to dwell on a note but still fun stuff um okay so then you take the uh with the, with the ce2 you come back to this song okay and then you add um an envelope filter. Um, I should have, I have an FX25, an old DoD, I think. Um, but this MXR pedal works, works out real nice. Uh, the bass envelope filter. And when you, uh, when you play it by itself. Oops. Wait, so. Okay, then when you couple it with this thing, sorry about kicking the camera there. Okay.